know if you're watching this, I've been crocheting all week and using up what I have, right? Because that's the whole part of fixing the flow videos. It's one of the things about that, right? Is using what we have, using up what we have before we bring in anything new, right? Um, if you haven't watched those videos, I'll put a link to the playlist down below. Anyway, I have a bunch of yarn, as I stated in those videos. Most of it's wool, wool blends. And I found a sweater on the Hobie website. It's called the Horizon Cardigan. And it's basically a two giant granny squares. So I have been working on that all week. And I am to the point where I need to join the two halves. And then you have to add more length to the sleeves. And I'm probably going to add some more length to the bottom. Not sure at the moment if that's in the directions or not. It looks like it is looking at the picture. I also may see if I can add a hood to this because one of my friends said something about that and it's kind of a good idea. Hold on, I'll show you what, the, what it looks like so far. I'm affectionately calling it my sweater of many colors. And I think for the buttons, we're going to be equally as colorful. You see this, but I have this entire drawer here literally full to the brim with buttons. Some that I've bought, some even from my grandmother. I think I'm going to either take some fun big buttons like this one or and or clusters of buttons. Stack them and cluster them on top of each other, sew them together, and then use them on the sweater. I might do that. I don't know how many of these giant wood ones I have. Um, they would be cool on there too. Can you imagine? Hold on. How cool would they be? Anyway, what do you all think? I want to say I'm keeping track of how many yarn balls I use up. And so far I've used up one, two, three. Twelve. That's pretty good. Do I still have a lot left? Yes, but 12 people. And I think, I think, I think, if I'm gonna put a hood on that and add more length to it, I have plenty of yarns to choose from. This is the stack I'm picking from. I bet I can use up quite a bit more of them. Just finishing that up. All right, that's it for the minute. I'm gonna, gonna go on to doing something else and flex my hands. I haven't done this much crocheting in a couple of decades. So, all right, I'll be back. I will put some photos here, but we got the hood on and the sweater. So we're all good. So tomorrow I can indeed do the cuffs. And then after that, it's adding some more edging around the hood, down the front and around the bottom, and then working on buttons. So, Okay, sleeves are done. Tomorrow we will be adding length and then edging, hopefully. Um, and then trying to figure out what we want to do for closures. But you know, we've got a few ideas floating around in the old noggin. You guys, the sweater is ready for its final row of edging around that hood and all down the front and around the bottom and adding buttons. And yes, I did go back to Joanne's and bought a few more buttons. I know. But when you see them all together on the sweater, you'll see why. I also do, I think I'm going to do some sort of a, with the yarns, um, I'm not going to do a buttonhole. I'm going to do like a little rope loop closure. You'll see. I might even put little tassels. Anyway, okay, you guys, the sweater is all done. Are you ready? Oh my goodness. So here we are. I did get all the buttons on. I'm going to put some, I have some glue, special glue. Um, I'm going to put on the knots on the buttons. 
And I did put a little small button on the back of the big wooden ones just to give it more stability. And there's a little loop here that I can hook around. Now I'm on camera, I can't hook it around. <laughs> I can hook around that button just to give it some extra stability, but, and then I have these. There's four of them, they're big. I mean, and I don't think being cold when I'm out walking next winter is gonna be a thing. What do you think? What can you make out of the stash of whatever craziness you have in your art room? I'd love to see. Yeah. So now I'm gonna put the leftovers away of which there isn't many. I have a tiny bit of this left. I have three balls left of Lighthouse yarn in the Ocean Sunset Ombre collection. I have these three balls. One each of three different colors. Um, and just in case that wasn't enough yarn, um, I pulled out these three Lion Brand Landscapes yarns. I have these two, th these two in this color, and then I have this one, which I'll put back in the drawer. I'll use them for something else. But this basket was overflowing, and I have used, I think I've used up 22 balls of yarn. Hang on one second. So I have a bunch of scraps left over, which I'm going to add to my scrap bin because these make good stuffing for pin cushions and things. And then I have to put <coughs> all of these labels. Now, not all of the balls have labels on them, so this will be a guesstimate, but... Twenty-two. Twenty-two! Unbelievable. Okay, but I'm very happy I did that. The pattern was, hold on. Uh, there we go, sort of. Oh, hold on. That's better. Okay, um, cause you know, a fancy YouTube reviewer, you're propped up on a basket and on a jar of dye. I mean, you know. Uh, anyway, the pattern by Hobie Yarns was very easy to follow. I'm not the first person to do the pattern. There's a bunch of different videos here on YouTube, um, but it was very easy to follow and easy to adapt. Um, I did not do the cuffs like this. I left the end of the sleeves open. I wanted that sort of bell sleeve or kimono style sleeve. Um, I also, of course, didn't do this type of close, closure with the button, small buttons like this. I actually made it a little bit wider and overlapped the front of the two sides and put the giant buttons on. I also, of course, as you know, put a hood on. Now the hood, um, I just kept crocheting around the neckline until I had a large tri a rectangle of fabric that was big enough to reach the top of my head. And then I closed the one long side, which formed the hood. Um, and then I went and lengthened the sleeves. Again, I didn't put the cuff. I also followed the instruction, instructions for layering the bottom until it was long enough. Then I went around the front edge, including the hood, a couple more, a couple times so that I felt like there was enough brim on the hood and the front was going to close the way I wanted. Then I took some of this blue yarn, which is a wool blend, and um, I don't remember the name of it, but I don't think it's one that's made anymore. Anyway, it's a wool acrylic blend. And I went all around that whole outside edge and the bottom of the sleeves. Then I knew, then the sweater was done. It's a matter of hiding the yarn ends, cutting all of these off, um, adding the buttons. And for the buttons, I crocheted the loops to put the buttons on. Rather than trying to fuss with a buttonhole, I just didn't want to do that. And if I ever decide I don't want the buttons on there, they're easy to take off. So anyway, there's one project done. On to the next, I think. All right. So what do you have in your space 
that you haven't touched in a million years, you forgot you had, you kind of still want to keep, but you need to do something with. For me, it was yarn. What about you? I'd love to know. So leave any questions, comments, or concerns down below, and I will reply. Check out the video descriptions for relevant links like the pattern. And um, yeah, let's make a sweater. All right, go out and do something nice for yourself because you deserve it, and I'll see you later. Bye, guys.